Aqua friends, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a snowflake, kind of a microscopic snowflake. I really love this reference photo. I decided to do this very quickly as this is Fast and Fun Fridays, guys. So wet on wet, I am only using a couple of blues. I'm using a cobalt blue and just putting in the background very very soft everything blends really nicely so notice i'm using a cool and a warm blue this is phthalo blue yellow shade i'm using as well i decided not to use masking fluid i find that it's just so stark and it's blobby and I just don't care for it too much. So I am doing this with blues and an opaque white to make the snowflakes. So I'm just trying to make a really nice background towards the bottom of my canvas notice that I'm making lots of type of hashtaggy type of uh, strokes and that's because if you look at the reference photo a lot of these microscopic snowflakes in this beautiful reference photo by Pixabay or it's either Pixabay or, or Unsplash they're made up very angular that make up all these snowflakes that are kind of all jumbled up on one another and it's just quite gorgeous and so I'm just trying to mimic that I'm also taking water on my hand and I'm splashing my canvas with it so that it makes all these tiny blooms. Salt would also be another option. So once that paper dries, I'm taking my white opaque watercolor. My favorite that I use all the time is Dr. Martin's Bleed Proof White. I highly recommend it and the link to buy this is in the description below. So basically, I just made some shapes of snowflakes, um, some prominent ones. Obviously, this big one that I'm working on now is pretty much the center of attention in this painting. And when you're doing your background, you want to make sure that you get quite a bit of the blue behind the snowflake, otherwise it's really not going to show up. So notice that the concentration of the blue I have is, is really centered over that main snowflake. So I'm following my drawing lines and I am just adding in some lines for these snowflakes. I'm doing it very loosely. I don't want those ones to be very detailed. I want the idea of snowflakes sort of piled up on one another, but the main focus of attention, of course, is the main snowflake. I'm using a very watery consistent of white because I kind of want to go over this again with a darker white just to get some more three-dimensional look to it. So I'm filling in this hill of snowflakes <laughs> on the bottom. It's a very soft painting. There's not a whole lot of contrast. It's just very delicate, just like the microscopic reference photo that we're using. It's very calming. <laughs> I'm going back over that snowflake with the white, darkening it up. So notice I'm just using very tiny short strokes and I'm going in multiple directions to mimic these piles of snowflakes. 
I'm varying the consistency of the paint so that some areas are more opaque than others. And as that main snowflake dries, I keep going over it so that it gets more and more of a stark contrast. So this is a fun little project. This would also make a very lovely, easy painting to give to somebody for a gift, or you could make it into a card. There's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing at the bottom. I'm just doing all these meandering lines, trying to keep the idea of these geometric shapes that basically the snowflakes are made up of all these different angles and sort of keeping that in mind with all my little hashtaggy marks that I have lines going in all these different directions. I hope you guys have fun painting nature's most finest microscopic piece of artwork with me. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week.